I'm in my 12th year as mayor, and I have to tell you, uh, with each year, I think I've grown in deeper appreciation for the incredible work of our firefighters in the city of Rockford. It starts, I think, with um, a tradition and a history of recruiting the absolute best possible talent for the job. But as each one of you, as you take the position, you certainly have incredible accomplishments that you can draw from. You've had to have had families and support to get you into the position of being hired uh, for all of the fire departments, any fire department, but in particular the Rockford Fire Department is incredibly, incredibly challenging. We have hundreds of uh, uh, applicants for a handful of positions in any given class. But I would say, however, that's even more impressive is that when you put on a uniform of a firefighter, you become something even more. And I would just share just uh, quickly, it, while they enter uh, a class as recruits and as good human beings, they exit wearing a uniform that makes them stronger and more powerful. Um, I don't want to say superhuman because they're all human, but I can tell you uh, what's been incredibly impressive to me is that when you look at the vision and values of the department, um, I think it's uh, no accident that they're able to do the incredible work that they do whether it's a, um, a plastic spoon on the heating element in my house, or it's like they had to do over the weekend, respond to a tragic homicide with injury victims in a, um, in a house that had been riddled by bullets. Our firefighters, I believe, are able to do the work that they do because they are incredibly team focused. They live our values, our action values. We talk about accountability, customer focus, they're team driven, they're innovative and open, and most importantly, they never give up. They live those values in their daily lives. They live those values when they uh, train together, they work together, and most importantly, when they're in action together. So to the parents and the loved ones, uh, all that are out here supporting and cheering on your, your loved ones today, I want to congratulate you and I want to let you know that your loved ones are in good hands. And the work that they do each and every day as a team, I think, helps them to be strong. And also, I think this is important to say, with all the stresses that they engage each and every day, it's also a form of their own healing, their own support for one another. And I think the chief is the most remarkable, one of the most remarkable people I've been able to work with. And he lives each and every day by example, and he shares that example throughout the department. So you couldn't be in better hands um, as a Rockford firefighter. You will be supported. You will be loved by your brothers and sisters in the department. And as a city council, we'll do everything we can to support you as well. We look forward to a lot of great work ahead. Thank you. Our new graduates are actually very exceptional young men. A position with, within Rockford Fire is highly coveted, and these seven emerged from a large pool, as Chief said, it starts out close to a thousand. And at the start of the training academy, veterans attempt to warn the recruits about the rigors they will encounter. But the mental and physical challenges can't be conveyed fully. A new firefighter has to meet challenges that I believe cause them to form a new dimension of their own being. They really find out what they're made of. They find their inner strength. And we certainly celebrate the success that each of you have realized in completing the um, academy. And I understand we have video proof to see that you persevered and grew. I'm quite fascinated by what makes certain people excel in their work and what makes them valuable to their organizations. I suspect that in part, it involves learning the importance of perspective. To maintain humility, to see beyond oneself, and to desire to make a significant contribution. I suspect it involves continuing to grow as a person, to expand both technical knowledge and Understand, and your understanding of others, while maintaining your own physical fitness and ensuring that you develop both emotionally and spiritually. I further suspect it involves 
valuing the opportunity you've been given. Through your actions and attitude, being recognized as a strong contributor to the department's ongoing exemplary performance and success. So however you decide to excel, we hope you will bring others along with you. Support others, support your brotherhood, as together you respond and care for members of our community. Thank you for choosing Rockford Fire. Thank you for the service you will give. And may you know purpose and passion in all that you do. Aye. Aye, Tyler Barons. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. I'll support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. The ordinances of the City of Rockford. The ordinances of the City of Rockford. The rules and regulations. The rules and regulations. Practices and procedures. Practices and procedures. Of the Rockford Fire Department. Of the Rockford Fire Department. Of the Board and Fire and Police Commission. Of the Board and Fire and Police Commission. And that I will faithfully discharge. Faithfully discharge. The duties of a firefighter paramedic. The duties of a firefighter paramedic. On the Rockford Fire Department. On the Rockford Fire Department. Congratulations. Congratulations. Just want to get a couple of closing remarks. Today is the beginning of your day with your career with the Rockford Fire Department and also to the uh, new recruits. You have a new role and responsibility within the organization. There's so many aspects of being a member of the Rockford Fire Department that include education, fire prevention, training, EMS, mobile integrated health, specialty teams, TRT, dive and training. You're gonna be provided many opportunities to take advantage of this unlimited education and training that's provided. A lot of this we talked about today. The greatest thing about this career is the feeling that you had during the Recruit Academy. You can have that feeling your entire career. There aren't too many careers that you're able to be that excited and have that much enthusiasm, but this is one the fire service most definitely is. The only thing that can prevent that happening is yourself. We talked today with the recruits about a lot of the opportunities that offer with training, all the specialties that we offer, um, that there's a lot of opportunities out there and a lot of chance for them to grow um, within the department. I ask you to choose your path, whether it's EMS, teaching, or anything else that you like within the organization, volunteering for organizations and committees. The time right now that you spent 15 weeks in the Recruit Academy was gonna equal about 1% of your entire career in the fire department. So it's a very short window, so you have a long time to go in the department. And like I said, you can have that feeling your entire career, which one of the great things I think James and Trent really exemplify that. And these are two individuals that you can definitely uh, model your career after of what they're able to do. Um, I challenge each one of you, don't get comfortable or complacent where you're at. Like I said, you can have this feeling for your entire career and uh, want to challenge a topic that motivates you and that you're really passionate about and follow within the fire department. Uh, we want everyone to grow throughout their career by enjoying what you're doing and doing it very well. Um, I'd just like to say in closing that it was an honor being out with you this morning talking with the recruits, uh, just going over the department, what we look for, a strategic plan, some of the stuff about accreditation, some things that the mayor alluded to, um, that this department has a lot to offer and we expect a lot out of them. Like I said, it's a tough process to get here. Same as individuals as James and Trent here. Um, a lot afforded to you, but a lot expected and we uh, have very high hopes for every one of you. We definitely appreciate the Rockford Police Department for how much they do to us keeping us safe out on the streets because there are times when it is dangerous, but knowing we have Rockford Police there backing us up, it really makes us feel better. So thank you to the Rockford Police and the others. So. Hi everyone, my name is Clyde L. Hilson and I was chosen to speak on behalf of the 2016 Rockford Fire Recruit Class. First of all, I want to thank all of you for coming here and support us for this special moment and um, also to celebrate those promoted today. Um, today is, like Chief said, a milestone in all of our careers, some which are just beginning, others where diligent hard work has paid off and led them to advance in leadership positions. Um, there are also a numerous other people that our recruit class we owe thanks to for being in a position for, for attaining our dream jobs as firemen, Chief Berkson and the Board of Fire Commissioners. We also want to thank Chief Durup, Lieutenant Carlson, 
recruiter Chloe White for overseeing our training and making sure we have the proper resources in order to be successful during this academy. In addition, we would like to thank all the academy instructors that sacrificed their time in order to provide us knowledge and a skill set needed to prepare us to become rapid firefighters. For 15 weeks, several, several men and women invested their time while we tested their patience. All of you should be recognized for the effort you put into making sure we had a clear understanding of the reading material, as well as making sure us recruits were sufficient in performing the physical tasks that firefighting demands. Lastly, I would like to thank our families, the supporting cast that all of us needed throughout this academy. I know a few of us leaned on our families a little bit more than others. Um, a couple of wives and moms um, we would like to express special recognition for, for, paying, for preparing corn beef sandwiches for 15 weeks straight. Um, <laughs> Also, fiber fruit snacks were uh, available for one of the recruits. Um, one mom even allowed a recruit to claim her treats that she made for our class as his own, but we know he didn't make them. <laughs> um, initially, there were seven of us that started out in a competition against each other. Um, we were battling out through the application process to gain a spot for the list of candidates. After that, being selected in the top 25 amongst applicants of over 900, we became recruit mates. I personally remember us taking, talking to each other at headquarters about how we couldn't believe the position we were in and how we had all pretty much run the lottery. After that first day of being introduced to each other and meeting another fellow recruit from Byron, we began to get to know each other, uh, develop a relationship that expanded into a bond of brothers over the next 15 weeks. Having spent so much time, we learned a lot from each other and possibly too much about each other. <laughs> uh, many of the tasks at the academy had to be accomplished individually, however, the majority and most essential components of being a firefighter is cooperative teamwork, the skill in which we develop and improve on a day-to-day -day basis with new experiences and challenges provided by the academy. We did things in repeti repetition individually, like throwing ladders, loading and unloading hoses, opening hydrants, forcing open doors, forcing open windows, jumping in windows, jumping out of windows, throwing victims through windows. No, we didn't throw anybody through windows. We did those things, then pieced it together to achieve goals as a collective, such as searching and locating victims in dark smoke-filled buildings to either successfully putting out the source of the fire or getting the victims out, or both. We did two things that we call the firefighter trust fall. We jumped into the Rock River with our, recruit, with our full turnout gear with hopes of being water rescued by fellow recruits. The other was rappelling down from the top of the Cherry Valley uh, training facility, hoping that we would also be lowered down safely by fellow recruits. Um, often we were told that we were a smaller class, but we were also told we worked well together as a team, all the while keeping each other's safety in mind and making sure we did the task the rougher way, which is the safe way, so no one was injured, and at the end of the day, we all returned home to our families. As a result of all of you being dedicated to us being successful and established a good foundation, we are now confident with our assignments to rougher fighting companies. We recognize that this opportunity wouldn't be there for us had it not been for all of you as a collective, contributing in different ways. We embrace the responsibility of being public servants, role models for the community of Rockford. We know that when we wear our uniforms, we uphold the core values of professionalism, respect, integrity, dedication, and empathy. In closing, I would just like to say I'm a Rockford, I'm not Rockford born, but I'm Rockford raised. Um, this is where I call home. I'm gracious for this opportunity to serve my community. Um, I also would like to express the confidence I have in these gentlemen up here with me. Every single last one of them is a great addition to the already established great asset of the Rockford Fire Department to the city of Rockford. Thank you.